Naruto 629. I've never reacted this way to a chapter before. It was it was so to me it was so empty and odd and then I read it again and then it, it made me angry, which is really just two you know two different sets of reactions for me. And then as as I've looked through it, I've really actually started digging into it. I really actually appreciate this chapter a lot more. I haven't done a 180 on it. I've just dug in a lot deeper and found some things that are actually pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, top two viewer comments. No stranger for being number one on the viewer comments list here is Chaz Malakian. Okay chapter, part one, nothing much, just passing time till the arrival of the Hokages and Naruto sensing Sage of the Six Pass Chakra inside him from the Bijus. Part 2, I predicted that Toby would let himself die, but it was too fast. So it must be a Gengitsu. This would be an even battle, because in, in this reality, Toby can't use his slip-through ability, so Kakashi can do us all a favor and kill him. About the movie, I didn't like the story, but it was good for the action. Good video, and keep up the good work. Really do appreciate it, and awesome uh, every week as, as usual. Okay, and number 2 is... Kanku Gaming, don't you think the scene where you see the tailed beast behind Naruto is the Ten Tails' point of view, in which the Ten Tails sees Naruto resembling the Sage of the Sixth Path? That's why I think the Ten Tails goes berserk. I also think the Ten Tails would speak after it frees itself of Madara. Would be interesting to hear. Well, as soon as I read this, actually, this is before I even the voting or anything. Uh, when I saw this comment uh, earlier this week, it, it made me go look once again at the chapter, and uh, which I'm looking at right now. And it could very well be, actually, that the Ten Tails is, is, is seeing that both the, the, the separate tailed beasts and the Sage of the Sixth Path uh, around Naruto, which is uh, pretty awesome. So. I really like that. Uh, I really like that that you went ahead and zeroed in on that, and that actually and that makes a lot of sense. And uh, there's definitely quite a few things I actually want to comment on this week. But I really do appreciate uh, your effort and everything. That's the top two comments, voted comments by the readers, not not me, but by the readers this week. So this is awesome, awesome job as as every week. And now I'm going to go ahead and read the viewer comments, kind of random. <laughs> most I read most of them, so I'll skip through. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, some of them get some of my viewpoints on. Anyway, here we get started. Okay. And, and especially when there's multiples in a row, I think a lot of times I'm reading them, not reading them in the right order. Let's see. Mush, oh, oh, my. <laughs> o Obi is psycho psychologically effed up, yes. But if you think about it, he was a kid when his life turned to hell. So it's understandable. He's grown up to a psycho that, that completely denied reality because emotional trauma triggered because of Ren's death. Kakashi breaking his promise and murdering Mist. It was the moment that he denied reality. He, he grew up becoming Toby. He also saw the darkness of the world caused by the corrupt Shinobi system. Nagato, his time in the Mist, etc., uh, Sasuke still pursuing reality. That's the that's the difference. In the end, Sasuke chose to accept reality, not run away from it. If anyone would uh, turn Obito, it's Sasuke, in my opinion, because their situations are similar. Sasuke and Obito saw his friends kill kill a precious person in his life. Sasuke saw his brother kill his family, etc. Obito believed Sasuke would be another him. If Sasuke comes now, ch changed, Obito's belief will falter. Okay, um, there's, let, me, let me go ahead and uh, start on something I've actually been thinking about. and it's. I have a, I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction, and I just want to say I'm not uh, happy to make this prediction. I think that Kakashi is going to die. I think, uh, let me just throw a couple things out here. All right, as far as Obito... Now, Obito saw what Danzo did, okay, when he was fighting Sasuke, okay, 
and uh, the whole thing with the, you know the eyes on the arms. And this, and, and since Obito's really mainly or a lot Zetsu, I think it would be easy. And some people said, well, he didn't have access to the eyes, and it was a uh, the thing where the eyes are on that wasn't. Regardless, he was he was there during the massacre. I'm sure that he harvested a bunch of eyes, or at least he's the, there's the potential of it. And I wouldn't doubt that Obito has some eyes on him, besides these two, on him, and then he could go Izanagi, okay, just like Danzo did. And who knows how many eyes that Obito has, especially since he knew the end was, you know, it was going to be the big battle, right? So I wouldn't be surprised that uh, killing Obito isn't as easy as I thought and a lot of people are thinking. And in reality, I mean, think about this. For the drama of it, the idea of Kakashi living his entire life, okay, motivated by Obito, okay, in teaching, teaching, the teachings of Obito, okay, to other generations, okay, and then the evil, demented Obito his own, his own, you know, the hero, the person that Kakashi said was his hero, kills him. I mean, how much more of a dramatic effect can you get? That's insane. That is insane, and I think that's what's going to happen. I think Obito is simply, he's, he's, you know, he, it, all things being equal, I have no doubt Kakashi would finish him, but I don't think that's going to be what happens. Now, I know a lot of people want to see Kakashi make it all the way to the end, but I don't actually think that's going to happen. Now, as far as, um, there's actually quite a few things I want to talk about, but uh, that's, a, that's not a wish. I would wish that Kakashi makes it through, but uh, I have a feeling that he's going, he's going, to, he's going to die. He's going to, if one of these characters do die, it will be Kakashi, in my opinion. Now, it's possible that uh, as we've discuss, already discussed, and I won't go too far into this because this was really last week's stuff, okay, that the fourth, since he has marks on both of them, okay, that he could teleport wherever they are, okay, that's a strong possibility that can happen and that he, he could end up dealing with Obito, which he could do, okay, especially in Edo form, it's over now, okay, but and what are the laws from an Edo going from that you know, reality to this dimension. I mean, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, moving on, moving on from this part of it. Uh, I don't, <laughs> you know, I have a problem pronouncing names and a lot of this stuff. Mushroom Mai. Great, I really do appreciate your comments. And there's definitely, uh, I want to get into more of this stuff a little bit later. But, uh, and especially Obito. I really, especially want to talk more about Obito. And a lot of people are this week, so that's a good thing. The maker for you. I really think Obito's brain is malfunctioning. It's just wanting Kakashi to end him because his reason why he's going on with this plan is just wrong because he thinks everyone is a traitor? Question mark. Not, I just want him to die, period. He, he really is... Uh, well, I'll just go ahead and get into it right now. Right there at the end... Finally, I see what Kakashi, or Kakashi, I see what, what uh, Kishimoto has been trying to do the whole time, what he did in Relay earlier, and I just, I, I get it now, okay, we, we all know, we've all discussed it, and, you know, how warped that Obito is, I've really was able to see it and connect to it at the end, you know, in this chapter, that Obito is crazy, but he also really honestly thinks he's doing the right thing. Because, I mean, the pain in him and everything, he honestly thinks that it's just, it was just this whole, this whole world is crazy. I mean, think about all the pain that his friend went through. Okay, he went through. And he was, and, you know, and he was trying, you know, to, to be a good guy, Obito. All the frustrations and everything. Which it, it all made sense to me. I finally like the like the like the whole thing between you know the the first Okagi and, and Madara, 
you know, and Hashirama. I, 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 I think I'm finally on the same side of the, of the water skipping rocks as Kishimoto now is with Obito. I don't agree with it, but I understand. I, I really think I understand what, what he's been trying to go through for this whole time. So it's not... It, uh, he did a horrible job of it, but I th this chapter, after really digging in, I see it. He, I, I just feel that, that, that where Obito is, you know, where he's at, and, and, it, and there is no coming back. He, he's simply too warped uh, too much. And uh, what's interesting is what's been d discussed before is I do believe um, that Sasuke is the counter okay to Obito but the reason is is because he will be able to use Izanami on Obito and shut Obito down okay that's what I think is going to happen okay so a dead Kakashi and uh, Obito gets shut down from Sasuke because of uh, you know Obito's using his uh, abusing you know his Izanagi and he gets Izanami down all right, really do appreciate the comments there, the maker for you. All right, the the Thunder Pow Wow, I swear Naruto has a Sage of Six Path Spirit or will become the next Sage of Six, Six Paths, or lastly, C, bring out the Sage of the Six Paths somehow. I have a feeling the Sage will come back temporarily and probably will be guiding the process, which dis, which after all the the tail beasts are unified to redisperse them back into either the entities that they were before if they were human or that they will gain some some human type you know bodies and, and minds at that point after serving as tail beasts all those times so uh, it could definitely happen really do appreciate the comment Rister, <laughs> Richard Castillo not, and I'm tired too while I'm doing this this makes this even more interesting Okay, to answer your question about the three tails, if the host dies, and a lot of people answered this, and I, I, I didn't really um, understand this, but a lot of people answered it, which is good. Tail Beast is, is free, but it, it won't be released uh, from the body. It's sealed in the host. Okay, well, well, you didn't really say this, but a lot of people have the idea that if, uh, what, the reason, I guess, that uh, if the tailed Beast is the the host the Jinchuriki is killed, then for they're 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 basically dispersed for some period of time and reform somewhere else and supposedly that's a process that the tailed beasts don't want to do. Okay, it's it's either painful or there's some some bad uh, consequences to it, and then just at some random place that they're formed again. This is what a lot of people have said, and, it, and, and which makes which actually makes sense. It, it would be a reason that the tailed beasts wouldn't would want to protect the Jin Cherokee because they don't want to go through that process, but of course they're not really destroyed, they're just reformed somewhere else. Even though it was said that they would die. So in a, maybe that was a twist of words or a mistranslation, I don't know. But anyway, I really do appreciate the comment. Okay, and let's see. Cel Celestial Seinen. If the host dies, the tailed beast will be revived again, which we already talked about. I do appreciate the comment. And let's see, time check. Okay, this will, I'll probably do this one. And then switch over to the other. Okay. Koku Gaming. Okay, actually, I, you were the number two voted, so I already read yours. We'll go to Brandon Johnson. Yes, I also agree that people need to understand that what Kishi is trying to do with Obito is show how much of a madman he's become. If you realize that, then you will think of him as a great villain. He's ruthless and won't change his mind, which I actually am at that place now. He's he is crazy, but he, he he's convinced he's doing the right thing, and he's going to wipe the whole world clean. He's going to create this little fantasy world because he's nuts. So I, I that's where I'm at, and I think that's what Kishimoto was trying to get to. Really do appreciate the comments. Kind of Bob Nine. It was it was the Raikage who said that when he and Sonate confronted Naruto for trying to enter the war and his solution was to simply kill Naruto, one of his most awesome scenes. Well, he did pass the test, luckily, so the series keeps going on. Really do appreciate the comments, as always. Uh, let's see. Time check again. I 
Are we around the 15 minute mark? We are. Okay. Whenever you're ready, meet up again in part two.